Hi guys, welcome to another video of Mathematics 2. In this case, we're going to see uh, just a little bit of theory about the angles, okay? So remember that this video belongs to a playlist where the full course of Mathematics 2 is going to be, okay? So I invite you to go to the playlist, which is in the description below, okay? So we have the angles and classification. So we got the acute angle. It's just an angle that is uh, the measure is less than 80 degrees. We have the right angle. This angle is really, really important. That is 90 degrees. And sometimes, for example, in the future problems, um, we're, we're just going to see these two lines that they're, they are perpendicular. So the problem is not going to mention that they are, uh, it's a 90 degrees angle. We just, we're just going to see the figure and we're going to figure it out. Okay. So we have then the obtuse angle, which is greater than 90 degrees, the flat angle that is 180 degrees. And the flat angle, you can see that there is only a line over here, a straight line. OK, so it is measured like from here to here. OK, and then we have the full or complete angle that is 360 degrees. And there is a classification of the angles, which uh, where we have complementary angles that they are two angles which sum is 90 degrees supplementary angles which sum is 180 degrees and conjugated angles which sum is uh, 360 degrees okay so let's go to see an example about this topic we have here this uh, example it says an angle and its supplement are at a ratio of five and four find the measure of those angles okay so the addition the supplement angles are are the ones to which addition is 180 degrees so that is important to know because that's how we're going to do this example so it says that the ratio is five and four so first what i'm going to do i'm going to do this the angle a plus the angle b equals 180 degrees and then i'm going to use the ratio that is five and four so i'm going to do this they are the same well there is going to be a ratio the proportional ratio constant and that is going to be x so one ratio is five x and the other one is four x equals 180 degrees so what i'm going to do is just an equation linear equation so five plus four is nine x equals 180 degrees so x equals 180 degrees over 9 and this is going to be 20 but that is not the answer because the problem says find the measure of those angles so i need to find the measure of a and b so the angle a is 5x so i'm just going to substitute 5 times 20 well in this case is going to be 100 degrees and the angle B is uh, 4x, 4 times 20 is 80 degrees. So that is the answer of the this first example, okay? So let's go to the example two. This is the example two. The angle A and the angle B are complementary. And I have angle A is x my over two and the angle b is x minus 30 so the only thing that i need to know to do is to find a okay so they are complementary so angle a plus angle b they are 90 degrees so let's substitute x over 2 plus x minus 30 equals 90 degrees okay so this is x this is a and this is b i just wrote the parentheses to uh, to identify which one is b so this is b okay so what i'm going to do over here is that i'm going to add uh, x over 2 plus x equals 90 degrees plus 30 degrees okay so i'm just going to add the x this is one over two and this is one I repeat this is one over two and this is one because they have the same variable and 
1 over 2 plus 1, well, 1 equals 2 over 2. So 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2 equals 3 over 2. <laughs> so that is the answer of the fraction of the left side. 1 over 2 plus 1 equals 3 over 2. Okay, so this is going to be 3 over 2x equals, I'm going to perform this addition, that is going to be 120. 120 degrees. And I'm going to isolate x. So x equals, well, this 2 that is dividing goes to the other side multiplying. So it's going to be 2 times 120 degrees over 3. Okay. So let's see how much is that. Okay, 2 times 220 over 3, that is 8, 80. So x equals 80. But that is not the answer because the example asks, asks to find the angle A. So angle A equals x over 2 so in this case it's going to be 80 over 2 so it's going to be 40 degrees okay and this is the example 2 so i hope you are watching what we're what we're doing i mean we are using the the same theory that we have here but we are combining this theory with algebra okay so let's do the last example this is the example number three in this example now we have a figure okay this figure over here and we have this angle this is the angle a and this is the angle b okay in this case okay we are going to find the value of the angle b how much is the angle b okay so if you see this figure over here these two angles a and b both of them form a circle, a circumference. So that means that the angle A plus the angle B equals 360 degrees. Okay, I hope you see this figure and see the relation that I'm talking about. Okay, this is a full circle. Okay, so let's do it. Um, I'm going to substitute. It will be... 5 that multiplies 2x minus 8 plus 2 that multiplies x plus 10 equals 360 degrees okay so let's perform the multiplication so this is going to be 10x minus uh, 40 5 times 8 is 40 plus 2x plus 2 times 10 is going to be 20 and this is going to be 360 degrees so then what i'm going to do i'm going to um, add the x and the numbers i'm going to move them to the other side or i can perform the operation over here with the numbers so 10 plus 2 is 12x and minus 40 times 20 plus 20 is minus 20 it's just a subtraction equals 360 degrees okay so 12x equals 360 and the negative 20 is going to the other side positive positive 20 plus 20 okay so 12x equals uh, 380 degrees so x is just going to be a division x equals 380 degrees over 12 how much is that well let's go to the calculator 380 over 12 and how much is that okay x equals 31.6666 okay that is the value of x okay but that is not the answer okay i have two answers over here the fraction and the decimal number okay i'm going to work with the decimal number with four decimals after the dot okay that's what i'm going to do 
and in the example well i need to find the angle b okay so i'm just going to substitute okay so angle b and it's going to be a decimal angle um, angle b equals to the value of uh, x that is 31.6666 plus 10. okay i'm gonna do this operation this whole operation in the calculator so it's going to be let's do it two parentheses 31.6666 plus 10 parentheses okay equal and that is the value of the angle b angle b equals 83.33 degrees and that is the answer okay so i hope um this video was clear to you i just um i just explained the topics of supplementary complementary conjugated and i solved three examples of this uh topic okay remember that this is a playlist that is going to cover the full topics of the course so um stay tuned guys take care bye bye